Ja, men hallå, det är dags att göra en ännu en video. <laughs> okay, so, okay. Uh, in my last video I talked about the Tube Screamer and how useful it can be for different kind of soloing uh, scenarios. And uh, on that video I got a really interesting comment that asked me uh, if I would recommend the Tube Screamer to get John's clean tones. And so, as you all know, his clean tones are quite uh, crunchy. And um, to that I answered that um, I don't know, <laughs> because I haven't really looked further into that uh, issue since I got the uh, chorus ensemble by Chungle Lab because you know I'm so happy with the results I get with that so there's no reason for me to like I said look further into that but when I start to think about it um, I thought well that is something that would be interesting to you know make a video about because I could have one opinion and answer that in a comment but I think it's more valuable and more fun if I uh, simply show you with the examples and then you can make up your own mind uh, much more productive and much more fun so yeah so you know the way i believe john had things set up was that he had a super clean silver jubilee like i have here uh, so that on its own sounds like this <laughs> it sounds horrible <laughs> uh, but then you know uh, he used the Boss C1 and more specifically the level knob where he set it so that he pushed the signal further to get a nice crunch tone. Uh, okay, so before me here I have four pedals and uh, first here we have the uh, Trunglo Lab course ensemble, the Boss C1 uh, copy or optimized version of it, which is pretty much what John used. So this is what we will compare with what I got the question about, if we could replace that one with this one, the Tube Screamer, not obviously in terms of chorus effect, but in terms of crunch. And uh, yeah, and then we got reverb because reverb is awesome. And I also got the DS2 here, and I will get to that later why I have that there. But yeah, what I thought I would do that is that uh, now to this super clean silver jubilee, I will first add uh, gain from this one and then I will compare that to this one and uh, I will play uh, one riff with the bridge pickup and one with the neck pickup and the same riff uh, and I could also mention as you notice here that the C1 here or the chorus ensemble is not in the loop because the level knob there is always on while this is true bypass so I don't have an AB uh, pedal to switch between the two. Yeah I'm going to connect the chorus ensemble and uh, yeah, here we go. And now on to the Tube Screamer. Okay, so what is my opinion here? Uh, well, in my last video I called the Tube Screamer a very dynamic pedal when you use it for soloing, but here I find that uh, when used in this uh, scenario I find it less dynamic, you know, the lows are not as low and the highs are not as sparkly and I just generally find it less alive. I mean it sounds good but it doesn't really have that extra aliveness to it that it has when I get the crunch from the C1. and. Well, I guess it doesn't necessarily sound bad, uh, but yeah, like I said, I just really don't find the same aliveness in it. But at the same time, I could see why someone would really like the Tube Screamer's tone in this scenario. And also it might sound different in the room to me than on the actual recording. And uh, also you notice here that, you know, on the chorus ensemble you only have one knob, but here we have a lot of knobs. And in this case, I decided to have no drive and just push uh, the signal with the balance. So, I mean, we could try another setting like this, where we have 
balance uh, qu set quite evenly uh, and then use the drive knob instead of the balance knob to push the signal and then uh, we get this kind of tone. <laughs> I don't really think it sounds better actually, I think it kills the dynamics even more. So uh, I will go back to this setting. And uh, we can also note that um, we have this tone knob and you could argue that it sounds better if you turn it up even more, you get higher high ends, <laughs> if that makes sense. So. But then I think that those high, good high ends comes uh, at the cost with the reduced low end. So yeah, I don't know. I think I will keep it here in this demo. But yeah, my conclusion so far is that there is a clear difference. And I guess I guess it's a matter of opinion which one you like more. I like the chorus ensemble more. But what's really interesting now is what happens when we kick in the DS2. Uh, how will it sound then? And I will play something <laughs> really simple ju just to demonstrate the tone. Kicking the DS2, getting the crunch from the tube screamer, what we got is this. <laughs> I don't know if you agree, but I think it sounds really, really filtered and not really al alive at all. It sounds like really dark and it doesn't really come through to me. I, I think here it's really clear that I don't really think they work well together. So before I talk too much, let's compare that to what we got if we disconnect this and connect the chorus ensemble instead. <laughs> I think that sounds, I mean to me that's really a no-brainer, I think it sounds way better. So yeah, that is really my conclusion. You, you could argue that the Maxon works well to get good crunch even though I like the chorus ensemble better. But when it comes to kicking in uh, fuzz and distortion pedals like the DS2, uh, I'm afraid uh, it will color the tone to match of those pedals if you uh, use the Tube Screamer as an always on pedal to get your kind of foundation level of crunch. So yeah, my conclusion really is that I actually do not recommend the uh, Tube Screamer uh, to get John's clean tones. Uh, but I'm really curious to hear what you think, so please tell me that in the comments. And before I end this whole video, I want to make it really, really clear that I do not by this mean that you have to get the uh, Boss C1 or the Tunglo Lab chorus ensemble, even though those are great pedals, and that is, I believe, how John uh, did it to get his crunch tone, uh, you know, with the clean setup, Silver Jubilee. Uh, but instead, what I would argue is that the Tube Screamer is not what I recommend, but I do not say that you cannot get other pedals uh, that are cheaper because at the end of the day, the chorus ensemble consists of quite expensive components. So, yeah. You, you really do not need to get that pedal. And we could mention that, for instance, Dave Simpson, he has really gotten an awesome tone without the chorus ensemble. And, uh, you know, he has the same kind of thinking that he wants to get his uh, crunch tone 
uh, through a pedal because he doesn't want to be dependent on what amp he's using. So, uh, and he uses other pedals like the Jackhammer and the Golden Plex to get good crunch tone. And I haven't tried them myself, so I can't say exact for sure what I think. But I think he has got great tones. So, uh, I just want to make that really clear. So keep experimenting and yeah, please tell me what you find when you do your own experimentation and. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching.